We're standing outside ARO, uh, Auckland Radiation Oncology. It's situated where the old Mercy Chapel used to be as part of the Mercy Hospital campus. I remember when the sisters opened the unit, they were talking about how proud they were that we were continuing to do God's work here. It's the country's first private radiation oncology facility. It's a joint venture between ourselves at Mercy Ascot and Southern Cross Hospitals. And we're really proud of the fact that since we opened, no patients are having to travel nationally or in fact internationally to Australia for radiation oncology treatment. ARO's been doing a fantastic job and we're gaining a really amazing reputation for the advanced treatments that we can offer here at ARO. In 2002, I shared my vision with Dr. Andrew Wong, who is the CEO of Messi Escort Hospital. I was the clinical director at the Auckland Hospital Radiation Oncology Department. We had a huge waiting list. Patients were waiting for three to six months to have radiation treatment. I felt very strongly that we should change the situation and it is possible to change it. What we need is extra capacity and we know that 20% of the patients are from, have private insurance. So we thought if we treat those patients in the private sector, the waiting list will go down in both public and private sector. And that's what exactly happened. From day one to today, living the ARO values has paved the way to success. ARO values, teamwork. We will work together collaboratively, recognizing that a strong, dedicated team will always outperform strong individuals. Ownership. We will take ownership and pride in our work. We are responsible for all our decisions, both as individuals and as an organization. Aspiration. We seek to deliver the highest possible quality of service and to constantly improve this. We will recognize and celebrate success. ARO people provide the X factor to drive excellence in everything ARO say and do. has experienced significant growth in four key areas showing the increasing efficiency and complexity of our services. Firstly, the number of patients receiving radiation treatment has grown from five patients to sometimes as many as 100 patients per day. Secondly, the ARO team has grown across the organization, including physicists, nurses, administration personnel, radiation oncologists, and radiation therapists. Thirdly, the range of techniques. ARO has typically introduced one new technology or technique each year. This increases the customization of patient treatment plans. Lastly, the number of complex plans has increased significantly. As our technology and techniques become more sophisticated, so do the treatment plans. In radiation oncology, technology leads the way and we are very proud of the tools we have at ARO. ARO is committed to implementing science-based techniques that deliver high-dose radiation with increasing accuracy to reduce exposure to healthy tissue and the surrounding organs and optimizing the ability to create highly customized treatment plans for each patient. This means ARO is constantly keeping abreast of worldwide trends and investing in technology. ARO often leads the introduction of new technology and techniques into New Zealand. ARO firsts into New Zealand. 2008, first electocyte in New Zealand. 2010, VMAT treatment technique, first in New Zealand and amongst the first in Australasia. 2012, first frameless stereotactic brain patient. 2013, Ray station treatment planning system with faster calculation times, reducing treatment planning time. First, stereotactic body techniques, Sabre, using symmetry. 2018, 
ExactTrack technology to build stereotactic program capabilities to deliver higher doses with targeted accuracy. ARO has always been a really progressive organisation and it's something that we're really looking to continue into the future. Something we're really excited about for the immediate term is a new satellite unit that we're in detailed planning for on the north shore of Auckland that will expand the reach of services that we currently have. North Shore is a big city and it's expanding very fast and the people would love to have their treatment in North Shore. They don't want to cross the bridge. We strongly believe that we should have a machine in North Shore. I think it's going to be a huge success and we are really looking forward to put the machine in North Shore. We remain committed to the vision of ARO, which is to be New Zealand's leading provider of radiation oncology services through continued investments through our people and our technology so that we can have the very best care for our patients.